Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Wetlands Outdoors. Um, today I'm going to do a little video on these Flucka Flickers. This is the second set I had. Um, the first set worked great. Took it to the lake. Awesome job. Took it down to the coast. All six of them still worked. Went back to the lake the next day after hitting the coast. And two of them decided to quit working. Well, I got home, opened it up. And the circuit board was already corroding and rusting so there was a little bit of water on the inside I guess it's leaking from this o-ring right here um, can't do much about that but I'm going to try to waterproof the circuit board with using hot glue I've already did one tested it turned on off on like it's supposed to so I got five more to do and I'll show you how to do one and then you guys can try it out and if it works for y'all then cool if not start complaining to Mojo and get them to make them more waterproof than what they already do first thing you're going to do is unscrew make sure there's no batteries in it take these four little screws out and just open it up and then there's two more screws right here for the switch go ahead and pull the switch out the switch still may go bad on them I know I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube where they are they go out after a year or what have you um, I don't know how to fix that problem but I will be waterproofing this little circuit board here for the switch and the circuit board if you can see it it's actually connected to where the batteries are so I'm gonna go ahead and undo the other five Yeah, I just don't understand why Mojo decides to be cheap and not actually waterproof proof the circuit boards themselves even though it's you know cost them a little bit of money but hey probably only cost them three dollars to build these things price them like they do so you don't care about buying new ones every season but I guess they don't realize if they build a better product people would buy more of them and constantly keep them They do recommend not using them in salt water, but a lot of us duck hunters hunt the marsh and bays. And I live in Texas, and the best hunting is on the bays and then salt water. So, okay, I got all five of them ready to go. Let's see if this heat gun is ready. Sorry, hot glue gun. There it is. 
come in here. It's going to be really funny if I do end up sending these back to Mojo and they open them up. All the circuit boards are going to be hot glued. And of course, they're going to probably blame that for them not working no more. Alright, so as you can tell, I did this one already. So now it's time to do the main board. first one I did I actually took the board and they slide out real easy I'll show you on this one this pulls right out but once I hot glued it, it was a little hard to slide back in so I decided to do it this way on this one all right once everything is kind of Pulled down. And just dab it down with your finger. Get it like a little wet. Cools off the hot glue more. But as you can tell, the whole board's done now. Slide this back in. So, This part, try to get the wires out of the way, slide it back on. I think you guys could probably get away with using either hot glue, like I'm doing, um, silicone, or liquid electrical tape, whatever you got handy. Most guys that have wives normally have hot glue guns. Let me grab two batter three batteries. that back in there you go 
So hopefully now, when it does get wet, a little bit of moisture in there, it's not going to cause any problems or for these things to go out. It's kind of sad that Mojo, which I like, just chooses not to waterproof electrical. I mean, it's supposed to be waterproof as it is. Plus, if you think about it, it's going in the water mojo. But, if anybody likes to get any birds mounted or anything like that, I am located just north of Houston um, on Lake Conroe. Just check out my uh, Facebook page, Wetlands Outdoors. Um, you can see all my mounts that I do. Um, my phone number is on there. My address is on there. So if anybody would like to get in contact with me, just check out the Facebook page. And I appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.